Hi everyone, welcome to my very first video of who wants to be a mathematician? Yay! All right, so hopefully I'll be posting a series of videos based on who wants to be a mathematician. So let's start off with question number one. Question one, x plus four equals eight. The possible answers are a is equal to four, b equals to seven, c equals to six, and d equals to five. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to answer this question. correct answer is A of course, 4. Okay, question 1 was relatively straightforward. Uh, so you need to undo the equation. So you're going to minus 4 from both sides. 8 minus 4 gives us 4. X is equal to 4. We can always double check our answer whether it's correct or not by putting it back into the equation. So it'll be 4 plus 4 equals 8. And that's our final answer. Find the value of x. 2x plus 6 equals 16. Again, the four possible answers are a, 6, b, 7, c, 8, d, 5. I'm going to give you another 10 seconds to answer this question. Yep, so the correct answer is d. Five. Question two, find the value of x. Again, uh, we need to undo the equation. By undoing, we need to do the inverse operation. So again, I'm going to minus six to cancel it down. Six minus six gives us zero. So that cancels it down. So whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do the other side of the equation to just to balance, balance it out. 16 minus six gives us 10. So we have two x equals to 10. What do you multiply two by to give us 10? Five, so x equals to five. And that's our final answer. Uh, question three, expand three open brackets, two x minus four, close brackets. Again, the possible answers are a equals six x plus 24, b six x minus 24, c six x minus 12, d four x plus 12. Okay, so I'm going to give you let's see another 10 seconds starting now. Well, the correct answer is C, 6x minus 12. That is the correct answer. Expand the brackets. You're going to multiply the first time outside the bracket with the first time in the bracket. So it's 3 times 2x, which is 6x. And then you're going to multiply the first time outside the bracket with the first second term inside the bracket. So it's 3 times minus 4 gives us minus 12. So our final answer is 6x minus 12. Oops, there you go. That's our final answer. Question 4. Find the highest common factor and lowest common multiple of 20 and 24. Again, four possible answers are A, highest common factor equals 6, lowest common multiple equals 124. B, highest common factor equals 4, lowest common multiple equals 120. C, highest common factor equals 8, lowest, multi lowest common multiple equals 110. D, highest common factor equals 10, lowest common multiple equals 122. Now I'm going to give you around 15 seconds so you can answer this question. All right, uh, the correct answer is B. Find the highest common factor and lowest common multiples of 20 and 24. First of all, we need to break it down to find its prime factors. To do that, we're going to use prime decomposition. So 20, and break it down to 2, 10, uh, 5, and 2. So this is a prime number, prime number, prime number. Do the same thing of to 24. Break it down. 2, 12, 2, 6, 3, 2. We have 3, 2, 2, 2. So 20 is equal to 
2 times 2 times 5. 24 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Put it in the Venn diagram. So the common prime factors go in the middle. We have two over here. Let me label it first. And another two over here, which is two over here at five, two, and three. To find the highest common factor, what we need to do is multiply two numbers in the middle. So highest common factor is equal to two times two equals four. Lowest common multiple is multiply all the numbers in the Venn diagram. 5 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, which equals to 120. Question 5. Find the gradient of the line that passes through 2, 1 and 5, 10. Again, the four possible answers are A equals 6, B equals 4, C equals 8 and D equals 3. I'm going to give you 20 seconds. This is a tough one. To answer this question. All right, the correct answer is D three. Question five, find the gradient of the line that passes through two and one and five and 10. Uh, to find the gradient, what we need to do is first of all, uh, label the coordinates. This is x1, y1, and we have five, 10, and this is x2, y2. We're gonna be using this equation. Gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, we have 10 minus 1 over 5 minus 2, 9 over 3, therefore the gradient is equal to 3. Question 6 is, expand and simplify open brackets x plus 2 close brackets open brackets x plus 4 close brackets open brackets x plus 1 close brackets again again the four possible answers are a equals 3 cubed plus 8 x squared plus 12 x plus 8 b equals x cubed plus 2 x squared plus 8 x plus 4 c equals x cubed plus 9 x squared plus 10 x plus 6 d equals x cubed plus 7x squared plus 14x plus 8. Now, this is a bit of a, a tedious question when you work it out, so I'm going to give you 30 seconds. is D. x cubed plus 7x squared plus 14x plus 8. That's the correct answer. Expand and simplify x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 1. First of all, I'm just going to expand these two brackets. Uh, so x, yep, so x times x gives x squared, x times 4 gives us 4x, 2 times x gives us 2x, 2 times 4, which gives us 8. I'm going to simplify it further. So x squared plus uh, 6x plus 8. And then I'm going to bring the third bracket down and I'm going to expand it. So x times x squared is x cubed. x times 6x gives us 6x squared. x times 8 gives us 8x. 1 times x squared is x squared. 1 times 6x gives us 6x. 1 times 8 gives us 8. Let me simplify it further. x cubed plus 7x plus 
14x plus 8. Sorry, so it's x cubed plus 7x squared plus 14x plus 8, and that's our final answer. Question 7, factorise x squared minus 2x minus 15. Again, the four possible answers are a equals open brackets x minus 5 close brackets open brackets x plus 3 close brackets b equals open brackets x minus 5 close brackets open brackets x plus 1 close brackets c equals open brackets x minus 2 close brackets open brackets x plus 4 close brackets d equals open brackets x minus 4 close brackets open brackets x plus 3 close brackets. Okay, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to answer this question. Starting from now. answer is a open brackets x minus 5 close brackets open brackets x plus 3 close brackets factorize x squared minus 2x minus 15 again two numbers that you multiply together that gives us minus 15 but also adds up to negative 2 so I'm gonna put my brackets in my x I'm gonna sort sort the signs up so it's gonna be minus and a positive over here and what we should have is 5 and 3 because minus 5 times positive 3 gives us minus 15 minus 5 plus 3 gives us minus 2 and that's our final answer question 8 expand and simplify open brackets 2 plus square root 5 close brackets open brackets 2 minus square root 5 close brackets again the four possible answers a equals 2 b equals to minus 2 c equals to minus 1 d equals to minus 4 I'm going to give you 30 seconds to see if you can answer this question. Correct answer is C minus 1. Question 8. Expand and simplify 2 plus root 5. 2 minus root 5. Again, I'm just going to expand it like, uh, like I would do normally with a double bracket. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times minus root 5 is minus 2 root 5. Root 5 times by 2 gives us positive 2 root 5. And root 5 times minus root 5 gives us mi a minus 5. I'm just going to simplify it further. So we have minus 2 root 5 plus 2 root 5 gives us 0. It cancels out. So what we're left with is 4 minus 5, which equals to minus 1. And that's our final answer. Question 9. Write x squared minus 6x plus 1 in the form of open brackets x plus a close brackets raised to the power of 2 plus b where a and b are integers. Again, so the four possible answers are a equals open brackets x minus 2 close brackets raised to the power of 2 minus 4, b equals open brackets x minus 3 close brackets raised to the power of 2 minus 8, c equals open brackets x minus 5 close brackets raised to the power of 2 minus 2, d equals open brackets x minus 6 close brackets raised to the power of 2 minus 7. 30 seconds to answer this question. Starting now. The correct answer is B. 
open brackets x minus 3, close brackets raised to the power of 2 minus 8. Write x squared minus 6x plus 1 in the form of open brackets x plus a, close brackets raised to the power of 2 plus b, where a and b are integers. What we need to do is complete the square. So it's x squared, let me just write it out, x plus 1 equals 0. I'm going to minus 1 from both sides. So what we're left with is 6x plus a particular number minus 1. To find this value, what we need to do is mi divide minus 6 by 2 and then square it. Minus 6 divided by 2 is uh, minus 3. Minus 3 squared is 9. This gives us a complete square. So I'm going to plus 9 on both sides. And then this complete square can be factorized as x minus 3 raised to the power of 2 equals 8. I'm going to bring, I'm going to minus 8 from both sides. And what we're left with is x minus 3 raised to the power of 2 minus 8 equals 0 and that's the final answer. Question 10. Solve the simultaneous equation x squared plus y squared equals 13. x equals y minus 5. Again the four possible answers are a equals x equals minus 2 and y equals 3. y equals 2 and x equals minus 3. b equals x equals minus 1 and y equals 2 y equals to 5 and x equals to minus 2, c equals x equals to minus 4 and y equals 7, y equals to 4 and x equals to minus 3, d equals x equals to minus 7 and y equals to 7, y equals to 3 and x equals to minus 2. I'm going to give you a minute to answer this question which is the toughest question out of the entire quiz. Correct answer is A. So how well did you do? So that's the end of the quiz. I'm, I'm going to go through the working out as the questions as each as I go through each of the questions. So I'm hoping you've done well. Solve the simultaneous equation x squared plus y squared equals 13. x equals y minus 5. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to substitute this equation into this equation. So what we should have is y minus 5 raised to the power of 2 plus y squared equals 13. I'm going to expand this so it's y squared minus 10y plus 25 plus y equals 13. I'm going to collect like for like terms 2y squared minus 10y plus 12 equals 0. I'm going to divide everything by 2 and then I'm going to factorize it. So two numbers that you multiply together that gives us positive 6 but adds up to minus 5. We have 3 and 2. Therefore, the values of y is equal to 3 and 2. To find the value of x when, so let y equals 3, we can find the value of x by substituting 3 into this equation. So x is equal to 3 minus 5, x is equal to minus 2. On this side, we're going to let 
y equals to 2, substitute in that equation, so 2 minus 5, x is equal to minus 3. So what we have is minus 2 and 3 and minus 3 and 2. So these are our final point, uh, final answer.